When we're using a hypothesis test to test a particular statistic, we always look at the area or the probability of being greater than or equal to that statistic. In this video, I will try and explain why we use greater than or equal to. First, I want to look at this rather general example, and I'm trying to decide whether 14 is in the critical region or not. In this example, I have taken something where the probability of being greater than 14 is 0.0653, that's 6.5%, that is greater than 5%. I want to know whether 14 lies in the critical region or not. If we take the critical region at 5%, then I'm really saying, where do I put this 5% line? Well, if the area on the right of the green line is 6%, 6.5, the 5% line must be somewhere to the right of the green line. Here is the critical region. And 14, none of it. 14 quite clearly does not lie in the critical region. I've summarized that here, showing that if the blue line is on the right of the green line, then 14 cannot lie in the critical region. Now let's see what happens if we take a case where the probability that x is greater than 14 is less than 5%. In this case, I've taken the probability that we are greater than 14 to be 0.5%. 0327, that's less than 5%. So the area to the right of the green line is about 3%. Where am I going to put the 5% line? The 5% line has got to be on the left of the green line. What we don't know is whether the 5% line includes all of the red rectangle for 14, or perhaps the 5% line might be there, in which case the red rectangle for 14 is not included. So if the 5% line is there, 14 is not in the critical region. If the 5% line is further out, then 14 is in the critical region. So in this case, we really have no idea whether 14 is in the critical region or not. And I've summarized that here, that if the probability that we are greater than 14 is under 5%, we do not know whether the 5% line, whether the critical region includes the 14 or not. So in this case, it's not much help. Now let's see what happens if we look at the probability that x is greater than or equal to 14 is over 5%. Greater than or equal to 14 means my green line now has to be on the left of the 14 bar. If this now is greater than 5%, what can we say about the 5% line, the critical region? We cannot bring the blue line to the left. Therefore, the blue line has to be on the right. And in that position, 14 is not completely on the right of the blue line. 14 is not in the critical region. Wherever I put the blue line on the left of the green one, we can say that 14 is not in the critical region, wherever I put it. And I've summarized that here, that if the probability of x is greater than or equal to 14 is over 5%, then 14 most definitely does not lie in the critical region. Suppose now, that the probability that x is greater than or equal 
to 14 is less than 5%. That means that the area to the right of my green bar is less than 5%. In this case, around about 3%. Where am I going to put the 5% line? Well, I don't think there's any problem with this. If the area is 3% from the green line, then the 5% bar or the 5% line has to be somewhere on the left of the green line. And wherever I put that, the 14 is always fully included. So wherever I put the 5% line on the left of the green line, 14 is in the critical region. That is definite. And I've summarized that for you here. That if the probability that we are greater than or equal to 14 is under 5%, then 14 lies in the critical region. If we roll down, we will find a summary of what I've just said. And that is that if we consider the case, first of all, where x is greater than 14, but not equal, we have found that if the probability that x is greater than 14 is over 5%, then 14 does not lie in the critical region. But if the probability of x is greater than 14 is less than 5%, we discovered that we couldn't know for certain whether 14 was in the critical region or not. On the other hand, if we use greater than or equal to 14, probability that x is greater than or equal to 14 is over 5%, then 14 does not lie in the critical region. And if this probability that x is greater than or equal to 14 is under 5%, then 14 lies in the critical region. We get certainty with greater than or equal to. We don't get certainty if we just use greater than. So we must always use greater than or equal to when we are at the higher end of the range. We can use a similar argument at the lower end of the range, and then we would be using less than or equal to. So whatever happens when you're doing hypothesis testing, when you are testing a statistic, you must look at the probability of being greater than or equal to, equal being the important part, or at the other end, less than or equal to.